In the event of a conflict, David Petraeus, former CIA director and U.S. Army four-star general, asserts that the United States would dismantle Russia, particularly if Russia resorts to nuclear weapons in Ukraine. The response would involve NATO, led by the United States, launching a unified assault to eliminate Russian forces in or around Ukraine. However, Petraeus omits discussion on the outcome of the two leading military powers engaging in a confrontation. While such a scenario would likely draw in global allies, the question remains intriguing. Could the United States defeat Putin's regime on its own? This query forms the focal point of today's military knowledge analysis. The United States currently boasts the world's largest military, with 1,390,000 active personnel, a significant portion within its Army, Air Force, and Navy. Its arsenal includes 13,300 aircraft, 5,500 tanks, and a formidable naval fleet comprising 11 aircraft carriers and 92 destroyers. This military might reflect years of investment and technological advancement, positioning the U.S. as a formidable force on the global stage. Comparatively, Russia fields over 1.3 million personnel, with notable strengths in tanks and submarines. However, its air force lags with fewer combat-ready aircraft. While Russia's ground forces possess a large number of tanks and artillery, their equipment quality and readiness levels vary. Additionally, Russia's military capabilities are shaped by historical and geopolitical factors, including its emphasis on maintaining a strong defensive posture. In assessing sheer scale, the United States holds a clear advantage with its vast resources and modern weaponry. Yet, as history demonstrates, numerical superiority alone does not guarantee victory as evidenced by past conflicts where technologically inferior forces have prevailed through strategic cunning and tenacity. To ascertain a more nuanced understanding, one must consider ground force composition and tactics. The U.S. Army emphasizes light infantry units, which excel in agility and rapid deployment. These units are equipped with a range of weaponry, including M4 carbines, M249 machine guns, and 8-4 anti-tank weapons, enabling them to adapt to various combat scenarios. In contrast, Russia focuses on mechanized infantry supported by air assault and airborne battalions. This approach emphasizes mobility and the ability to rapidly deploy forces to key strategic locations. While Russia's ground forces may lack the technological sophistication of their U.S. counterparts, their emphasis on combined arms tactics and maneuverability presents unique challenges on the battlefield. In the air domain, the United States maintains superiority through integrated air campaigns and advanced fighter jets like the F-35 Lightning II. These aircraft are equipped with cutting-edge technology and weaponry, allowing them to dominate the skies and provide crucial support to ground forces. In contrast, Russia's Air Force, reliant on aging aircraft, faces limitations in terms of both capability and readiness. At sea, while the U.S. Navy commands dominance in open waters, Russia's coastal-oriented forces pose a threat to U.S. coastal regions and shipping routes. Russia's naval strategy emphasizes asymmetrical warfare, leveraging smaller, agile vessels to counter the U.S. Navy's larger, more powerful ships. Furthermore, both nations possess formidable nuclear arsenals, adding a layer of complexity and deterrence to any potential conflict. The specter of mutually assured destruction looms large, underscoring the grave consequences of escalation to nuclear warfare. Overall, while the United States may hold the edge in conventional warfare, a confrontation with Russia would be arduous and costly, exacerbated by Russia's defensive strengths and nuclear capabilities. The potential consequences, including mutual destruction, underscore the imperative of avoiding such a conflict at all costs. Diplomacy and de-escalation must remain the primary avenues for resolving disputes and maintaining global stability.